Hey guys, we're back in the workshop and today I actually want to save one of the knives which I have messed up. So I've messed up <laughs> on this one in my first integral build. But as they're saying, we don't make mistakes, we just make smaller knives. And this is the plan for this knife. So my plan is actually to cut off that tip and cut right down here and profile everything so I can then have a smaller knife because the one problem with this knife is it is way too thin here and too thick here and also too thick here but with this small utility knife I can thin it down much more to save that knife and still having a functional knife in the end. So guys, I've got now the knife profiled and it turned out quite small, but already I'm much happier now. And I've also drilled out these two holes. One hole is a locator pin and the other one will be tapped now so I can add a threaded insert later into it so I can easier attach the handle in the end. And the other piece will be for the handle so the handle cannot turn. So we'll have two pins, one is threaded and I have to thread now the hole for this um, piece. So I've got now the screw for the handle attached to the knife and no the handle won't be that long. Also it would be kind of cool to have like a two-handed kitchen knife. Um, drop it down below into the comments if you want to have a two-handed kitchen knife. Um, so, so now the knife is actually ready to be heat treated and after that I'm going to finalize the whole grind and all that shebang and I hope that the forge walls are holding up um, because sometimes they can crack due to the threaded insert and because all that kind of forging magic but I will fire up now my heat treating oven, heat treat this bad boy and then I will see what happens with this knife. The knife is now hardened and tempered, so now I can start on finishing up the grind, thin that knife down, so we'll have a nice small slicer in the end. The things I have to deal with when recording here. <laughs> so it is quite loud in the surrounding because someone is cutting the grass but I have to keep on moving with this knife and I've attached this wooden handle here so I could hold it better during the grinding and I've just super glued a threaded piece into this thing so I can hold that knife because it's super hard to just grind like that and the pivot points would be way too big and now I actually want to start working on the handle and then after that I can start with the hand sanding.
So the knife is now hand sanded and as you can see I've just clamped it to a wooden block and now it is at a 400 grit finish but later after I have done the handle I will take it up to a 600 grit finish and the next step is going to be gluing up the handle so I can work on that. The glue is now dry on this knife and now I have to do a lot of shaping because this block of G10 is way too thick and way too long for this small of a knife and in the end I want to have a comfortable knife so I have to go now to my bandsaw and belt grinder and finish up this handle. The knife is now nearly done, but today I want to try out a different kind of finish and I've got some mustard uh, right here because I want to make a forced patina on this knife, especially with the rock pattern that, that more a patina look will look much nicer on the rock pattern handle. So I will apply some mustard to the knife in some spots and that will force a patina onto that knife and in the end it will look really amazing. So this small kitchen knife is now done and it's pretty cool that it was actually a failure and now I have this small utility kitchen knife in my hands and it's really cool that I have saved this knife and I've also tried out rock pattern on an integral knife which I also wanted to do for a long time and now I finally tried it out and it's also kind of cool especially with that forced patina look on it and I'm pretty happy with how that knife turned out uh, because I wanted to scrap the whole knife because I've messed it up and now I have a knife, a usable knife in my hands and I've tried out several techniques on this knife which I'm pretty happy with and I don't have to waste that material. So guys, tell me in the comments, did I manage to save that knife? Do you think that knife is cool? How do you think uh, the rock pattern and the integral knife fits together? And also, what do you guys think about that forced patina look? It would be really interesting for me. Just hit it down below into the comment section.
And if you want to see more content like that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I post every other Friday. And if you have any kind of questions, just drop them down below into the comments. I try to answer them as quickly as possible. And we'll see us next Friday.